It's still here. The same fucking bar, I shit you not. Yeah, okay, buddy. I'll see you later. Great fucking job today. All the way to the top. Yeah, I fly in tomorrow. I'll see you then. All right, bye. A shot of tequila and a glass of your finest whiskey to chase it with. We need to celebrate. Coming right up. In fact, pour yourself some of the same. Well, that's mighty kind of you. A little, uh... Early to be drinking? No, it's never too early to celebrate. <laughs> well, you must be happy if you're buying random bartender's drinks. I sure am. Last night, I proposed to the hottest woman this side of the Atlantic, and she said yes. And then this morning, I sealed the deal of a lifetime. Express elevator all the way to the top, baby. Up top. Congratulations. Thank you, man. Mm. Oh, shit. Oh, I haven't been in here for years. I have some great fucking memories of this place. In fact, 10 years ago to the day, I made my first deal at that table over there. Yeah? It's really nice. Feels like a lifetime ago. I always wondered if that shotgun was just for show. Mostly. <laughs> Mostly. That's a good one. Should get one of those. Just make sure this guy doesn't get his hands on it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's his deal anyway? He's been here open to close the last three days. He just sits there, doesn't say anything. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, we can't have that. This is a day for celebrating. Hey, buddy. Here, get him a fucking tequila. Have another drink on me. There we go. To success. Whoa. I understand that you're depressed, but if you accept a drink from a man, you, you clink his glass. Oh. Oh, I'm... I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm... I'm not really in a celebrating mood. I've, I've had a tough couple of months. Yeah? Well, so did I. Oh, but through hard work and determination, I turned it all around. Well, no amount of hard work can turn this around. Nothing can make it better. I bet you it can. You don't understand. It's all out of my control. Let's make a deal. You tell me your problem. If I can fix it, you celebrate with me. If not, fuck, I'll pay for your drinks for a week. Scout's honor. Fine. But I have two conditions. I tell you at your own peril. I take zero responsibility, you understand? Intriguing. And you buy me the drink first. All right. Uh, whiskey. <laughs> your turn. I came up with a genuinely original idea. And I'm the only one who's immune to it. Well, that doesn't sound too bad. Wait, immune? Yes, immune. My wife was the first victim. Hey. Sorry. Good morning. Good morning to you, too. Have you seen my pen? My favorite one. You know the one that's got the blue and the red and the black and the, and the thing? It's not going to be in the knife drawer. You look tired. What time did you get to sleep? Decent time. I was asleep. And I woke up from this 
blast of light behind my eyes, you know? And then it was like a million and one migraines hit me all at the same time for like 10 seconds. And then there was like this pressure inside my skull, like my, like my, like, like my brain was trying to push right through my head. And at the end of it, I had the most incredible idea. Well, what is it? Huh? Tell me your idea. So I did. So help me God, I told her. And so that's it. That's the idea. Michelle. It's so simple. It's beautiful. Oh. Bullshit. Believe what you want, it happened. Do you believe any of this? Well, I don't believe any of it. Someone's head exploding for no reason would have been on the news or something. It was on the news, but the CIA suppressed it. Oh, the old CIA angle. Yes, the old CIA angle. Turns out they actually do it in real life. <laughs> okay, I'll bite. What happened next? The police. I phoned them as soon as my brain started working again, and they took me down to the precinct. They started interrogating me. Of course, at this point, they all think I'm a wife killer, and I, I can't blame them. Autopsy report came back. Looks like what you said was true. They couldn't find any evidence of physical force. So I can go home? It'll be a while before we get a detailed report. But in the meantime, we need to figure out what's going on here. I mean, your wife's still dead, and you still have her blood all over you. Well, I need you to tell me, word for word, second by second, what happened in that kitchen. Well, I was in shock. You know, I didn't have time to think it through, so... Come on, Barry. Um... Talk to me, Barry! I told him my idea. I thought this was my darkest moment. I'm cuffed to a steel bed, crying like a baby. My wife is dead. My life is ruined. Turns out Rock Bottom was still a ways off. I did manage to get some sleep, though. That is, until the CIA got involved. Tell the woman across from you your idea. I'm sorry? The woman across from you. Please tell her your idea. The one you told your wife. I, it, I, I don't understand. Why, why, why do I have to tell her the idea? It's part of the investigation. I believe you are innocent of your wife's death. To prove it, I need you to comply. I can't. I told her. Guess what happened? After that, they kept bringing people in. Prisoners, psychiatrists, scientists. Tell him the idea. Tell him. Tell him the idea. will comply if you ever want to get out of here. I'm not telling you that, yeah. I'm sorry.
How is any of this even possible? I don't know how, but I got a theory as to why. Because of your idea. No, because of my original idea. You see, every idea that hangs around happens because of other ideas. You take two or more, you combine them together, add a bit of spice, trim it down, whammo, you got a new idea, right? Okay? Mm -hmm. This is different. Completely original. Now, my theory is human beings can't handle an original idea because they have nothing to compare it against. The brain goes into an infinite loop cycle trying to find some place to slot it in and pfft, I end up with bits of brain in my beard. <laughs> That's a crazy story. Have another drink on me. That's very entertaining. Well, I'm glad my messed up life entertains you. It would be heartbreaking if any of it were true. Okay, you know what? Don't even go there. What? You want to hear the idea? Well, of course I do. I mean, you can't tell a story like that without piquing interest. No, this is exactly why I told you I accept zero responsibility for telling you my story. Okay, fine. Uh, let, let, let's just say that I believe all of this. How did you get here? To this bar? There's no way the CIA will let you out of their sight. No, they did. No, they, they told me to, to, to don't, don't travel, don't leave town until we clear you. And then they implanted me with a tracking <laughs> device. <laughs> but... A tracking device! Now I know you're lying. Like, there's no way that they would let something this powerful get out in the open. I am many things, but I am not a liar. I know a bluff when I see it. And I don't mind being taken for a ride, buddy, but you need to be able to deliver something. Next time, you gotta tell a story that's a little more believable. Everything I told you is the truth. I mean, you are lying. I'm just trying to figure out what the scam is. There's no scam. You asked me what was wrong, I told you. You wouldn't cook up a story like this for a couple of drinks. You need to be angling for a bigger payoff, like a couple of dollars towards a new life. There is no scam, okay? Look, look, hey, look, look. See this? This is the last thing I have of my wife in the entire world. I couldn't even go to the funeral. You know, her, her family said that they would kill me if they ever saw me again. Oh, so that's your wife now. A photo of some random woman is supposed to convince me that all of this is true. No, no, that's my wife. I am not a liar. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, just relax, you guys, all right? Okay. Take it easy. Okay. I guess there's only one way to find out. You really willing to take that chance? You just got engaged. Go home to your wife. Enjoy your life. I'm feeling lucky today. Let's hear it. Unless you want to come clean. Fine, I'll tell you. Bartender, I suggest you plug your ears and have a mop handy. This is going to get messy. Ah, fuck it. I'm feeling lucky, too. Let's hear it. Okay, well, bring the whiskey over. I don't want to have to reach behind the bar after. Quit stalling. This one's on me. Just in case. There you go. No more wiggle room. Well, I tried to warn you. Here's my idea. It's like nothing I've ever heard before. It's so simple. It will change everything. Every, everything can be better. You're immune. Holy shit. You're immune. Oh my God. <laughs> what the fuck? This changes everything. <gasps> okay, we need to come up with a plan. No, fuck it. Pass me the tequila. Oh, oh, oh. we need to celebrate. <laughs> mm. <sighs> okay. The 
and you're immune, that must mean other people are immune too. Okay, we need to figure out what makes someone able to handle the idea. Okay, well, I know what we gotta do. You know what we gotta do? We gotta analyze everything that happened here today, come up with a theory, we'll tell some people, hopefully they survive, and then we can spread the idea. How can you stand it? To have this wonderful idea of being able to share it or the person will die. How could you, in good conscience, tell it to me? Hey, hey, hey. You're the one who dragged it out of me. I will not be called a liar by any- You ruined my life because of your ego? Because I called you a liar? You couldn't just take the high road and laugh it off? A man is dead because of you. Yeah, well, he made his choice. Just like you did. Look, you're gonna shoot me? Shoot me. But if not, I suggest you quit your moaning and help me figure this out. Okay. Now, I know it's gonna take you a while to come to grips with this, okay? But we don't have the luxury of waiting. We need to figure this out before the CIA finds out about you. No! Okay. 